Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. So, uh, we defeated the Abbasids, and now we have some more wars to come take care of, so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna head straight on down. Our army here should probably be enough to, um, to take care of these armies. Wow, they have combined, they have 5,000 heavy infantry, which is actually less than what we have, so okay, good to know. Yeah, so we beat back the Abbasids. That was awesome. We got a buttload of money for doing it. We should spend that money um, if we can. Nothing really good to spend it there. Those horse archers are nice, though. Uh, let's see what else we can spend it on. Uh, upgraded keep here. The keep is definitely better than getting either of these. Right now, my levy is 1285 there. Um, the stables here, probably, and I already have the better keep there. 10-11 here. Getting the better barracks, I think, makes sense there. Oh, you could just use the straight-up keep upgrade. Already down to 792. This is where I started, considering getting the better keep. Uh, what's going on up in the north rounds? North rounds. I have no idea what I said there. Um... You could also use the straight up keep upgrade. I'll consider doing that. I think though for now, yeah, let's get a keep in one of them and then just keep about 500 cash, cash money. So I think what that last war showed me is that I still need the, um, you could become honest or deceitful. Or I gain one diplomacy. I think he still has honest, right? If I do this, I just gain one diplomacy. And a few more people dislike me. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was a, a net win. Uh, we can call in allies. We don't need that. Uh, two children lack guardians. You need a guardian. Uh, please educate. Let's find out who's not super thrilled with me right now. This guy. Um, because I still have to defend against foreigner bonus. And then let's educate who else is not super thrilled with me at the moment. Probably the same guy still, but, uh, let's get this guy up. Oh, he's Sunni. Crap. Don't want to do that. Um, I am going to have to wait until she gets the educator and then, and then fix it. I want to crush this rebellion while I have the opportunity. Oh, I thought I had it. Um, alright, so you are the one that needs to get educated. Yeah, let's find somebody who's not Sunni. Yeah, how about you? That's better. The other guy will be a little more upset because I uns he's no longer educated educating. Um Oh wow, you're you're a real troublemaker. Okay, good. So we won the rebellion. I need to get across the water first before attacking. Otherwise, that would be stupid. Oh, yeah, I only have four prisoners and two threats. People dying of old age, all sorts of good things. All right, so um, let's talk about higher level things now that uh, now that we've reached this part. Uh, so, what I was trying to say... Oh, wow, I'm actually losing this battle. Because I did get a minor river crossing penalty. Even though I had completely crushed them in the initial engagement. And I crushed them so much that they... Oh, they're actually... F okay, maybe not. Not happy about that. Wait, they're going to take the crossing penalty now? Okay. Um, Let's pause the game real quick. Yeah, they're coming for me. That's fine. Let's auto balance this. Do I have anybody who has leading the center bonus? Are any of these those? These are planes. Okay, so you're good. Um, you're not so good. You're good. I don't like you. Where's the other guy? Oh, you're the experimentality guy. This guy. You have a big defense bonus. That's good. 
Uh, and then you... Movement speed, morale defense, retreat. Good to know you exist. We'll take this guy, the defense guy. Oh, looks like we're still gonna lose. Oh, we actually won that engagement. And now we will chase them down. This was not a good battle for a set of battles for us, though. We should still be able to win this just straight up because of uh, because of the um, their morale damage. But otherwise, yeah, we're, we'll sh we should be okay in the rest of this war. They do have a 683-person garrison. Did we completely crush their army yet? Nope. But apparently, one of the garrisons flipped. Oh, they went up there. That was unexpected. I want to crush this army. It's got a decent number of, of uh, elephants, and elephants are good to kill. I mean, by decent, it has 10, but still. Uh, so I could become... Holy Warrior is probably going to be the best here. Yeah, because we're always going to be fighting enemies. What do you think the chances that we convert a province, guys? Let's find out. Alright, did I ever get my thought out, by the way? That's a good... <laughs> I feel stupid. Um, what I was saying is, is that trying to rush to convert the faith, you know, to reform the faith might be bad because the defense here is has, was really good for us. Um, we did some really good things uh, defending in the last war. Using the lands. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, we should be able to win this war without any difficulty at this point. I'm a little surprised we lost that one battle, but, uh... Did you hire mercenaries? I mean, I have another 2,300 dudes coming, which should easily crush you in any engagement that happens. Looks like there's a river crossing between every province. Indus and Ranakot. Sonda, Satyapura. Yeah, there's a river crossing between every province. That's too bad. Not a huge surprise, but too bad. Alright, now that I have that bonus here, I should actually be leading this. Because I'm going to get a pretty gnarly uh, benefit here. Oh yeah, please become patient. So there's a 30%. Yeah, we're going to just see if we can get him... The 50% chance here. Nope, he didn't become patient. That's what we like to call bullshit. I mean, it's not really bullshit. It was 50-50. But, uh... Would have loved if we could have got him the patient trait. Alright, so we're dominating this war now. At this point, we're in a very good position to win. After which, we're going to have to sit around for a little bit. Uh, just because we have no... Um... Money? So this is Baghdad. I think I'm going to go try to get a claim on these three provinces. And not money. Troops. That's what I was trying to say. That's what the words that should have come out of my mouth were. 23%. No need to rush that. God, everybody's dying. And this guy is leading troops for me, but well, we want you to collect taxes for me. Okay, so we won that. Now you're going to 26th of September. Let me guess. There's a river crossing between every province that surrounds you. Or a straight crossing. Lo and behold. I was in fact correct. There was a river crossing between every province that surrounds you. Okay, we're winning. There's oh, of course, there's a Manichaean upright, uprising, upright. 
I gained some prisoners. Let's see if we can sell these people before we win the war. And again, there's a good reason to do this. Um, they're going to pay me because they attacked me. So, uh, oh, I'm going to get like a buttload of money. Yeah, they're going to pay me because they attacked me. And so I should end up with a pretty good amount of money. And the reason this is good to do, again, is because uh, if I do it afterwards, I may not have the money to pay, basically. Why did I just lose 50% of my war score? Did one of those people count for 50% war score? Um, so that that is the flip side about why that's not the greatest idea in the world. It's because uh, there's a chance that one of them counts for 50% war score. Would I uh, take the money over the war score any day? Absolutely. Unless I was, you know, in a really seriously horrible position. I would always take the money. So this gives me the opportunity to upgrade some things. I'm going to upgrade this keep. I think that's going to go good for us. Basically, they just gave me enough money to upgrade my keep. Their army is seriously confused. Um, so we can become proud. <laughs> Shit, become proud. Why not? You kind of suck, so... Right now you have honest and proud. Those are your traits. I have no idea what's going on with the AI up there. Besides the fact that they're just being crazy. Gonna sell you for 25 gold. Gonna sell you for 10. Watching these armies be crazy. I need You need a new educator. Who doesn't like me? This guy's not gonna like me. Why doesn't he like me? Why does that guy not like me so much? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why don't you like me so much? I don't know why that guy doesn't like me so much. Really doesn't like me, though. Alright, we're slowly but surely clearing away these sieges, which is also slowly but surely... Um, giving us ticking war score. I mean, this is what's giving us ticking war score. This army is coming back now after they were wandered in the desert for 40 years. We're getting 5.7 per tick. They're only getting 3.7 per tick. Interesting. So we should easily win this. Somebody else died. My Grand Vizier again. This guy is not a good Grand Vizier. But we'll send him out to try. Wait, what? Are you... Oh my god, that is frustrating. I did get a buttload of money out of it, but the fact that the war ended inconclusively is incredibly frustrating. And the reason it's incredibly frustrating is I should have gotten a buttload of money out of it and some prestige. That war did not end inconclusively. That war went, ended conclusively. I conclusively won. Oh, and now we got factions. Which, another war that ended inconclusively. From, from earlier times. These guys should all end, get out of this faction, basically. I could probably give you Venerable Elder. Yeah. And I can probably send you a gift. Yeah, and that should probably get you out of that faction. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know what I got in my throat. I'm not happy that we didn't actually win this war down here. Very unhappy about that. Are you independent? You are. Which means you are an easy target for conquest. God damn it, guys. Come on. Let's just let's just stop doing this. I'll make you champion. And I'll make you master of the bow. 
and I'll take the 140 gold. But we just want to battle. Sell everybody for the money. 50 gold is coming on down. Um, you need to get educated. So this guy doesn't like me a lot. Come on, like me a little bit better. I'm really just getting, um... These these people coming to convert my country and then they die Gonna capture Bori Yes, I am. Oh, he's gonna get gregarious That is at least something good Nice finally won that we should actually get, be able to get some some uh, money out of the deal too, right? Execute you. Boom. Yep. Got about 20 gold. I was just watching up here for those wondering how I knew I became aware of that We're gonna send our army home Jesus Christ, I feel like that fires way too often because it's basically easy dinero How we doing? How are we doing? Let's look at our um, our status. I'm gonna go down to speed three here for a second. We have about 11,000 total dudes, which is about two plus eight. So somewhere about 10,000 um, less than we should have. Oh, God damn it. Why are you in this faction? Why are you having this faction? Why do I have to give you 100 gold to get you out of the faction? All of those are good questions. You upgrade your keep. You build a stables. Now I have no money. You guys really shouldn't be factioning. You should be... Oh, game was paused. Come on, guys. What the hell? You love me. Good. Now you're just leading the faction with 6,356 men. Did someone declare war on you? The Moltant wanna de jure war over Bori. Well, they're gonna get that. Are you in this war as well? Yeah, you're definitely gonna take that. And now you're in that war? Oh, Bori, I'm sorry, man. You are screwed. Sucks for you. I know. I know you're sitting here going. I was gonna have freedom. Well since we have this time to ourselves Let's look what's going on. We got a Sheik level claim on this province. That is correct This is an emirate Yeah, we want to let it go. We want an emirate level claim So Ruthenia is pretty big perms huge Kazaria is pretty much falling apart Umiyas continue to expand into uh, France. Not a lot else going on. Denmark, I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to say that, not Denmark. As funny as Denmark is, continues to grow. You go in prison, at which point I can sell you for your precious, precious money. I did sell you, right? Yeah. Um, otherwise, we got what? Maharashtra? Um, is probably our biggest threat to the east. They're not really a threat Yeah, this is over sorry, buddy you're gonna become part of my lands. Oh Of course you had to suck it up Luckily, I think our levy is fully reinforced here. Yeah It's our other provinces that are waiting for reinforcements it's okay. It is time though to um oh good, he became Midas Touch, so at least he got a good trait. Um it is time to end the episode. We will do it as soon as I um find somebody to possibly marry my son off to, and you're really good, but you're a genius who's also a lunatic. Um 
Just see if there's anything else. I think I might betroth him to the lunatic. Because she's really good. Anyway, this is where we're going to end the episode. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And on the next episode, we'll finally probably get to attack once again. Um, so with that all being said, I will see you all next time.